Hi there, and welcome to the fourth episode of me working on my 1989 Toyota Tacoma. This week is going to be a little bit different, primarily because primarily because the United States Postal Service decided to send my replacement valve to Alaska on its way here. Um, so while my valve is having a wonderful vacation up in the wonderful state of Alaska, um, that has left me with basically nothing to do. So this week, I think it's going to be a little bit of a show and tell. Um, I have a couple packages of parts that will go on here. The head gasket kit with a stud replacement kit um, and then an exhaust header kit. So we'll go through that and then maybe do a couple odds and ends to the truck uh, while I wait for that valve to come in. One of the things being replacing the uh, head fasteners with a stud kit. And since that was the main goal, there weren't a lot of selections on the internet of what had like all in one kits. I had the head gaskets, all the other gaskets. But I found one down at LCE Performance. This is not a sponsorship. I bought it with my own money. There's a couple items on the website that had good reviews. Uh, so I thought they would be a good choice. First things out are all of these studs. They have a hex head on one side and nothing on the other side. So that'll help put installing them easily. And then just a ton of 12 point fasteners. And then the next thing is all of the gaskets. So we have the two cylinder head gaskets. These are the valve cover gaskets. Intake manifold gaskets for between the intake and the cylinder heads. Camshaft seals. Paper gaskets. Paper gasket between the intake runners and the manifold. And a bunch of O-rings. So, uh, two of these things are the caps that go on the other end of the uh, camshaft. And valve stent seals, which I didn't know I was actually getting. Uh, but now that I have them, I'm going to go ahead and pop the existing ones out and place these in. And the last thing are these four things. And to be honest, I have no idea what they're used for. So it looks like I have some research to uh, figure out what these are for. And the second package is the exhaust system. I already opened up the box uh, when I first got it to make sure that all the parts were in here. But everything came in the box um, and it looks really good so far. We'll start with the header that is on the passenger side. Um, it is a three into one. Um, all the welds look really nice. Everything looks well manufactured. Second piece is the driver side manifold. This is the first of two pieces that replace the crossover from the passenger to the driver's side. This is the second piece that finishes that. This is an extension tube that goes somewhere. The second to last piece is the two-in-one that connects the two sides and runs it out the back of the truck. And then the last piece is the flange that goes from the pipe to the rest of the exhaust system that has the bung for the O2 sensor. They include two head gaskets, a bag full of clamps for assembly, and all of the exhaust header bolts, a couple more gaskets, and some pieces of pipe for the EGR system. So this is everything for the header kit the quality seems really good for $180. There were a couple reviews on the internet that made comments about a little massaging that needed to be done, um, which I am not afraid to do. Um, so hopefully in a couple weeks, once the valve gets in and I can finish the cylinder head, I can get these installed and get my motor back together. The only thing that looks questionable of the manufacturing of this 
um, is this is the pipe that goes from the headers into the crossover tube. Um, if you can see down inside of here, this pipe goes into the collector and it terminates about a quarter of an inch in. As the exhaust gases flow into the collector and down into the two inch pipe, they like slam into that edge, which is going to reduce flow of the exhaust gases. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the flange off, remove that edge and butt them together, re-weld them. I have this one to do and I have this one to do. So a little bit of modification on the exhaust parts, but nothing I don't think I can handle and it should help just this much in making the engine perform a little bit better. One of the things that I received a couple comments about um, is the heat shield that's on the underside of the hood. Since I can't finish up the heads, I'm gonna cover the engine with something and remove that. That's it for this week. It was a little bit of a short one, not super productive. Uh, once, that, w once the valve gets in, I'll be able to get the cylinder heads back together and we can move on with the project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.